Are you concerned about putting people out of work? My sort of funny answer to that is like, if you know a bunch of home builders and people who know how to do construction standing around looking for work, will you please send them to Texas? Because like, uh, there are not enough people building. There's a tremendous shortage of skilled labor. So right now, and as far as we can see, I'm talking about the next 10, 20 years, all we will be doing is shoring up the labor shortage with regard to construction housing. It will be a long time coming before we're like actively displacing jobs with what we do. And I think the world will see that coming. And so instead of learning to be a carpenter, they'll just learn to be a robot operator. And so like, I think this is gonna like be one of these like just in time technology arrivals that like everyone wins. The people who want to build homes, the people who need homes to live in. And of course, just sort of like the dynamism and innovation of an advanced culture. So you wanna build a lot of these homes for people in distressed areas. And yes, with climate change, the way it's been, we've had hurricanes, we've had fire. If you sort of had to put a bow around it, like the advantages of a 3D printed home, does it succeed as a home? Not just can it be faster and cheaper, does it actually succeed as a home when you walk away and has to stand there for 100 years? It is more energy efficient by about two and a half times relative to the local building code here in Texas. Mm -hmm. It's much stronger. We exceed local building code here for strength by three and a half times. It's like the three little pigs. You got yeah. it. Fourth little pig now. So, it's the fourth little yeah, pig. Yeah. Right. So more energy efficient, stronger. We've passed 200 mile an hour wind certification to our fire rating. Termites don't eat concrete. And so like when you think about like comfort, strength, energy efficiency, this doesn't happen all the time where you make something faster and more affordable and the product gets better. And that's why this feels like lightning in a bottle. And that's why we, it, this feels like this needs to transition to becoming not a little niche that serves like a small group of customers. We need to be doing most of our building this way.